Well, we're about ready to go. I got it set up to take a few pictures. Then we'll be heading down the river. We got to hook the trailer lights up. That's it. Stand by. Well, we're launched. We're headed up the creek. A lot of boats at the boat ramp. Boat ramp's busy today. I had to wait like 10 minutes before I could even put in. Look at this guy. He's stroking down the river, ain't he? That's stroking right there. here by the bridge this was a hot spot has been a hot spot for many years I see it's working now we did have some pulleys but he got off stand by well we made three or four passes on both sides of the bridge with a buck, bucktail and a lure and a assassin and then we put a fur lure on I'll show you what that looks like in a minute now we're going up here to where all I see all these boats up here. That's where they've been fishing the last three or four days. What we call the tennis courts. I may stop short where we were the other day where I caught that uh, lizard fish. We'll see how it goes. Pier builder. Building a new pier. Or add on to an existing pier with their fancy hydraulic boat lift. There's the uh, tennis courts right over there behind all those green fences. I'm not sure you can see them. Some fancy houses over here. So far, no bites. I'm getting ready to move again. Another boat up that way. There's four, five, six right here. I ain't seen anybody catch a damn thing. Stand by. GoPro, NVIDIA. being metal detecting on ball spot then the kayakers just come up there's two guys were there when I pulled up I haven't seen them catch anything in this spot if we went straight up this river right here this is the western branch of the Lynn Haven River well we were a minute ago over by the tennis courts way over there where those white houses are if we went that way that would be the eastern branch it's a big river lots of crabs lots of fish Right straight behind me is where the Adam Thurgood house used to be, where the big sailboats and ships and all came in here during the 1700s. Still no pullage. Where is the pullage at today, I wonder? God, can't believe it. Beautiful. Not too hot. A little breeze blowing. No fishies. I know you can't see it, but I don't believe it. There's a guy metal detecting right there. That little sand sifter scoop. I can't tell, of course, what kind of heater he's using. I'm back at this spot here where I always like to fish. Where I got the only two bites I had today. The tide's coming in now right good. I'm thinking there might be something going on here. A bunch of people right there on the, on the bridge part. All the boat, well, there's a boat coming up here behind me. But I haven't had a hit here yet. I'm going to change baits and get back to you. That's what I was using in the shallows. Then I switched to this one. This was always my favorite. A little nasty jig. He 
to use, but catches good, or used to, along and around the shore edge and to trolling along the bridge there. I didn't have but two bites on that baby. We got a new one on now, we'll see how it does. We got pullage of some sort. Electric toad, <laughs> aka a stargazer. Isn't that a fine looking ticket? The first and second time we caught a lizard fish, today we caught a stargazer. Now I'll give you a little jolt if you ain't careful. He got little electric things on top of his head. When a little fish comes by, he sends out a volt and they get stunned and he grabs them. Electric toad. Stargazer is his real name. Isn't he pretty? Let me get him up here a little closer. Fine ticket. Yes, sir. Fine. At least he likes that bait. Something hit it. Well, she's all washed out, cleaned up, flushed out, chained up. When I got home, Chris had a big Pile of knives and two pruners. No, two lopers and one pruner. In a rough shape, ain't it? Okay, now it's uh, I gotta go to work. She got a gathering of knives in that bag. She got some Hanko Internationals, some Hankles, one Woodstall, one Hoffritz, and some KitchenAid scissors. Alfred's Inco International. I don't know what this one is. Oh, that's another Alfred's Hanko International. Hanko? No, Wooslaw. Wooslaw. Wooslaw here. So you got two Wooslaws, three Hankles, I think, or four Hankles, two doodads, and I'll see you later. Well, it looks like we're eating shrimp shells tonight. It's just shrimp shells. I've never heard of such a thing in my life. My skipper is working on a new recipe. Here's the shrimp over here. They had heads on when she got them. Now she's working on some garlic. This thing is called Easy Pasta in is a Taste of Venice. I don't know, but it looks pretty spiffy. There's the pasta right there. Going in that big pot right here that's boiling. And we got wine for the shrimp. And I guess for us too, Ouvray. I just played ball with the Indians. I'm a little scared of the Indian. We got the uh, curtains. The plastic's all down. We got the gates up so the dogs can't get in there. They did the inside of that closet and the rest of the house going that way. And all down in here where Jack and them boys, my desk was. Right, Big Old Jack? A couple days you'll be able to get in there.
I'm supposed to mix that up now. Save the best for last. You know our new detecting buddy Richard from the mountains. Well, he's a chef when he's not detecting and doing something else. And he made this homemade dessert. It says, remove parchment paper on bottom, shake cream well, and pour in a saucer. Best with raspberries. There's raspberries. He even supplied those. This is some kind of cream that he makes from fresh Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle cream. I don't know what that's going to taste like, but I can tell you I've never had any before. But you only get a little piece of this doodad thing. I'm not even sure I can show you a picture of it right now. I may have to wait till later. What's it called? Some kind of chocolate. Chocolate ganache. Chocolate ganache or something. I'll have to wait till we get it out of the paper. Well, there it is. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it beyond adding the raspberries and that homemade honeysuckle cream. But we'll have it ready in a little bit. Give it a try. Looks outstanding. Well, there it is, dished up. Cut with a hot knife. Honeysuckle cream. From fresh honeysuckle. I can't uh, advise on the taste yet, but I think I'm going to like it. Glory. <laughs>